Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Harika. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, a most important concept. So if you are a developer and if you wanted to create something and after you publish uh, your processes or projects into orchestrator, the next point that you will look forward is to run the processes either in attended or unattended mode. So I have already created a video on this part, but that is in the older versions of Orchestrator, but in the latest versions, how you can provision the runtimes, how you can uh, link your uh, robot to that particular machine using Orchestrator. So how you can do that, how you can provision the runtime or how you can allocate the licenses and everything that I'm gonna talk about in this video. So if you are using the latest Orchestrator and if you are not able to see the previous versions, like how to create a robot and how to, you know, do all these things, then definitely this video is for you. And I'm going to teach you every small detail that you need to know in order to get this provisioning done right way. So let's get into the video and get it started. So if you are already using the older version of the studio, then there's a video already there on my channel. So I'm going to provide this link in this description uh, of this particular video. So you can check out uh, this way is feasible for the older versions. But yeah, in the newer versions, you have to do in a certain way. Let me just start it up and explain you how you can do that. So firstly, um, uh, whenever you log in into your orchestrator, you can see all these things at the tenant level, right? You can see robots, folders, monitoring, manage access and machines. So the first area of interest that goes in is machines. So let's go ahead and create a machine template. So as soon as you go over here, you can see a machine template that's already there. But let's create one by allocating the runtimes. So firstly, if you wanted to know where you can see what how many licenses that you have and how you can allocate and all this first, let's go to admin page here. So mine is a 60 days trail. So it depends on your uh, plan that you have for that particular account. So let me say this is a license page where you can check how many licenses you have. So here you can see uh, this trail version has with this uh, particular trail version, you can get attended licenses to and automation developer to insights designer user 10 and all these are the different types of the licenses that I got. And in the robots and services, you can see unattended robot in the production one, testing robot one, and all these are the different types of the licenses that you get for this particular account. So I'm using a enterprise trail version as of now. So for my version of uh, plan, I got all these different types of licenses. So I wanted to create an unattended robot using which I can run the process or I can trigger the process from the automation, right? So for that, I'm gonna go and create a machine template. So I'm gonna go to my tenant. So I'm heading to my tenant here. And here is my machines. Okay, I'm going to add the machine template. So here I would say some name. And here I wanted to have an unattended production license. So I will increase this to one. And I can keep it only to one because I'm, I'm having only a maximum of one for this particular plan. Okay, and after that I'm going to... so. Let me keep it as one. So if you see, I have increased it to two. I, it shows that I cannot take the provision allocated for this because the maximum uh, licenses that I get for this plan is only one. So I'm going to click on provision. So if you see here, I've got my machine key, client secret and all. So just close this. Here I've got my machine template created, so, right? So the next part is, so let's say if you are having an older version, then you can go to the default folder. You can see the robot there and you can create uh, the robot, right? Which you can link to that particular machine. But in the newer version, what you have to do is you have to go for manage access. So in the manage access, you have certain user. Okay, so this is my user using which I have logged in. Okay, so your user will also be present over here. So for this particular user, 
you have to make sure that you uh, allocate the unattended license. So click on next. So next. So here, if you see, I'm going to allow unattended robots to run automations as this user and this specific Windows user I'm going to click on to and here you have to provide the domain uh, username and the password. So as I'm using my window credentials, go to command prompt. In the command prompt, you can just type who am I. So this will provide you the domain name username and after which you have to provide your system password okay and then say next and update okay okay it got saved successfully so that means you have allocated the licenses you have provision the runtimes for that particular robot. So now what happens is for this particular mission. So here in the robots, you can see you have created an unattended robot type. Okay. So you can run an unattended uh, or you can uh, trigger or you can allocate the queue based or time based triggers by using this particular robot. Okay. So let me go here. I don't have any processes as of now, but what you can do is, uh, let's say if you have this unattended uh, unattended robot uh, type here in your uh, orchestrator so using this you can uh, create a trigger based automation or a queue trigger based automation and that will let it keep running so that is how you can do um, let's say if you wanted to uh, if you have more licenses and if you wanted to connect more workstations so here i have uh, connected my workstation as in my laptop to this particular machine template but if you wanted to connect multiple laptops or multiple workstations to this particular machine template you can also do the same thing by going to that particular user you have to give the access just like how i have done over here for this, uh, for that particular user, you have to enable the unattended automation using which you can using this particular machine key, you can connect it to that particular uh, assistant and you can let that unattended bot run in that particular machine. So this is how we can do. Um, so I hope this concept is clear. If you have any questions, you can just let me know in the comments. I would love to answer your questions. And also there are a lot of orchestrator series uh, videos that are going to come up on my channel. So do not miss any of those videos. Please subscribe and also stay tuned by hitting the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching.